Hey, what's up, guys? It's Fontek over here another video, and in this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone SE running iOS 11.2.6 to an iPhone SE running iOS 10.3.3, guys. So, as always, stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is the one running iOS 11.2.6, and this is the one running iOS 10.3.3. So, we're gonna boot them both up here, see which runs faster. So, they both have the same exact apps and everything on them, so they're both almost empty with eight apps there, so it should be fair enough. So the SE comes with two gigs of RAM, A9 chip, one point, clocked at 1.8 gigahertz, and uh, yeah, so okay, iOS 10 was actually faster. So let's just enter the phone here. What a good four second difference there. I'm gonna swipe up here just guys for the very first time. Okay, so it was smooth there and it failed there. Okay, so both were smooth. Swapping down. All right, both are good. iOS 10 has this bouncing effect which I love iOS 11 doesn't anymore. All right, guys, so both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, as you can see, guys, and they are both at 100% with the, on airplane mode. Just gonna make sure the brightness is about the same, it is. All right, guys, so let's just start here. Nothing in the background on both. Let's go for a calendar here. What's faster on iOS 11? The photos, 11 too. Camera was faster on iOS 10, maps, uh, I'd give the edge for iOS 10 here, clock, faster than iOS 11, weather, iOS 11 too. So everything with talk apps is actually faster than iOS 11, good stuff there. Wallet, slightly faster than iOS 10 I think, going for the phone dialer, okay, faster than 11, good stuff there, Safari, a little bit faster there as well. Messages guys, I was about the same, if you ask me iOS 10 was even faster because it loaded the entire thing, so settings. What the same, maybe I was slightly faster going for videos. Oh, the same guys, let's go, let's go for third party apps now. Let's go for Geekbench. So it was faster on iOS 10. That was benchmark. Again, faster on iOS 10. So third party apps uh, definitely feel an hour faster on iOS 10. So Instagram guys, this one is faster on iOS 10 as well. Going for Subway Surfers. Wow. So that was actually faster than iOS 11. Going for temper run, two. So both phones are blazing fast, to be honest, guys. I mean, even iOS 11 wasn't bad at all, but, oh, so iOS 10 was faster. So, okay, definitely lose some speed there with iOS 11, I, uh, iPhone SE. Mario run. So it seems faster than iOS 11, I think. Okay, so it was actually faster than iOS 11. Way faster, actually. Going out, going for Facebook. Okay, it was faster than iOS 11 as well. Going for Google Earth. And it was all the same, I think, guys. All right, guys, now for some RAM management, let's go, let's try apps from the very recent ones. Google Earth, so in the background, Facebook as well. So let's see which app will actually start to refresh. Like Mario Run, still there. Good on both phones. Temper Run 2. Good on both phones. Subway Surfers. Same thing here. iOS 10 should be faster, better than iOS 11 when it comes to RAM management. Going for Instagram. Okay. Both are doing great jobs now. Going for Antutu Benchmark. Great job on both devices. Going for Geekbench 4. So both devices are doing a great job. Going for videos. So now it's a draw and going for settings. All right, so it's a drop to now. Both phones aren't failing with any app, so going for messages. So great performance till now with RAM management. I'm surprised here, going for Safari. Wow, that's great. Going for phone dialer. All right, both are doing a great job. Going for wallet. Both are doing great job now, guys. 
going for weather. So amazing performance there. Both phones are solid on, on both iOSs here. Going for clock. Amazing. Even with iOS 11, it's not a bad, bad roll on, on the SE. Going for maps. Nothing refresh till now. Really great performance there. Photos. Wow. I'm really surprised, guys. Then going for the calendar. So guys, both phones kept everything in the background here. It's pretty amazing, guys, to be honest. All right, guys, so now both phones have nothing running in the background. I'm just gonna go for a Geekbench 4 test, CPU, and run benchmark. All right, guys, so the scores are about the same. The iPhone and iOS 10 got a slightly higher score on the single core only, whereas this one got a better multi-core score. So guys, it's about the same, to be honest. So no performance drop or anything in Geekbench on iOS 11. That's a good thing here. And now finally for our final thing, guys, into the benchmark. And just gonna start a test here. All right, guys, so here we have the scores, so it's about the same. So this one on iOS 10 will get a slightly higher score, but guys, that's random. So it's identical, guys. RAM was even better here, but it makes sense because this guy, this phone, guys, has more RAM for some reason. I mean, if you enter Geekbench here, this one has 1.97, this one has 1.96. So yeah, it makes sense that this phone actually had a higher RAM score, but not that much, though. So the scores are random, CPU was slightly better here, so yeah. All right, guys, so that was a comparison between the 11.2.6 and 10.3.3 on the SEs, guys. I want to say, guys, that the performance was about the same. RAM was identical management, so even with iOS 11.2.6, pretty decent. Yeah, some apps were slightly faster. Third-party apps were slightly faster on the 10.3.3, though, guys. But um, in general, both were pretty decent, so not that much of a downgrade. I would say, guys, that this phone, 11.2.6, has a higher wear level, so this one is 100% battery life, where this has 90% wear level, get a 10% here. But the thing is that uh, uh, Apple doesn't throttle a device with 10% uh, wear level, guys. But if you if you check the comparison with Altu Benchmark, this phone lost about nothing. This phone lost a lot of percentage there. So if you guys like the video, subscribe for more content and peace out.